Hello and welcome back to It's New. We got a busy, busy show for you today. Superpowers and all. Um, first up, I'm going to be talking about a bunch of things, including bursting Googles, deepfakes, and a lot of JavaScript stuff. Morty, what are you talking about? Google testing videos from in knowledge panels or my patients? And Greg? And some SEOs have been red pilled with a new experiment. <laughs> Google's search ranking volatility is bursting at the seams. That's the title. I have a really cool Google Google logo that's bursting at the seams. Not really seams, but it's bursting something. In any event, it was incredibly volatile the past couple of days. A lot of the tools, for some reason, not similar web, uh, but every other tool is literally off the charts. Greg, very, 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 very big day for you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I live for days like this, Barry. <laughs> Uh, but it's not just the tools. There's a lot of chatter. A lot of people yesterday and today are just noticing significant ranking uh, volatility. People are like, this is the core update. This is what's happening. Big news. Um, the issue with this is that I've often seen Google doing massive volatility and then no news on core updates. It could be Google testing it. I don't know. Um, I would be a little bit surprised Honestly, because there's so much volatility right now, I'm a little, I'd be a little bit surprised if there was an announcement of a core update happening today. What do you do? August, August 17th. August 17th. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm holding off for next week also. And I think, Greg, you're in two weeks from now or something like that. But <laughs> I forgot the dates. But you're right. Well, yeah, I mean, well. it could happen. There's many times in the old days where I would report about massive volatility and then Google would confirm it later that day. But with these core updates, Google usually doesn't do that. Usually, from my experience, it's been like quiet the day of, and then you see so you see a calmness before the storm. And I don't think this is the calmness. But I could be wrong, and I'm often wrong. I just ask. I keep saying this, my wife. But I, you know, it is it is interesting. Any any thoughts on this, or should I move on to deepfakes? Oh, deepfakes. No, I, no, 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 I, I just imagine that their servers look like your hero image of blowing at the seams. Like they have uh, medium and high, and this is, you know, beyond high. It's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. All right. Um, next, I want to talk about deepfakes. So a couple months ago, actually, Bloomberg had a story about Google adjusting their algorithm for deepfakes. I think Google announced yesterday that they have some updates around deepfakes where they're going to go ahead and basically lower the rankings of websites um, for queries related to deepfakes. Now, I guess if you search specifically for it, it would, it would show it, but it's, Google doesn't want to surface like queries for, let's say, Morty Oberstein nudes and then show a deepfake unless it's really consensual and Morty's in some type of porn stuff that he likes to. Uh, what are you saying about me? My wife listens to this show. Does she really? No, no. That'd be crazy. Anyway, there's a surprising number of those searches just looking at Google Trends. <laughs> Morty Oberstein, yeah, dudes, yeah, it's, it is unusual. People have weird fetishes, so uh, I'm not going to judge anybody who's listening. I <laughs> totally am not going to judge. Uh, this is way better than talking about politics. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so it was interesting. So Seb Rush showed uh, MrDefakes.com, which I didn't know it was a website until Bloomberg talked about it. So yeah, Barry was like saying in the comments, yeah, Barry, you do. You search for it. You go to it every day. The bookmarked. Uh, but um, it showed actually earlier on from April to May, a 11% drop in search visibility. But when I looked again after Google announced this a couple months later, they showed a 40% drop in search visibility uh, based on what I'm looking at um, in terms of their highest peak in like April or so, and then it dropping down to where it is now. And can um, I give Google a quick disclaimer? Don't go yeah. to that site you just said if you're at work. Very NSFW. <laughs> you can do it whatever you want at home. It's fine. You might Don't go there. there at work. That'd be great. Somebody's going to put defakes of Morty now on the web. <laughs> it's disturbing in so many levels. <laughs> yes, it is. And this video is probably going to just de demonetize and delist it or whatever. Anyway, um, Google said instead of uh, showing like the like the deepfake stuff, they're going to go ahead and try to rank articles for the for those names. So Morty, you might be okay if you have some articles about you. Um, and also... You might not be okay if, if they go ahead and rank consensual nude. Like, say you're a star, star in like a normal movie that has like a nude scene. Like you're walking around in a. In a I don't yeah. Know. So my my work will show. 
My yes. work will show up. Your work will show, but not the fake work of you. Got it. That's the goal. So we'll see with that. And then Google added some uh, other things around how they do this. They basically find patterns a lot like I think uh, Glenn Gabe said around previous algorithms that they've done over the years. Um, in any event, um, uh, they also updated their ranking systems documentation and their spam policy documentations. And they also gave a little bit more detail on how they go ahead and remove other deep fakes when you manually request removal of your deep fakes. There's a way to request removals for deep fakes. So what are you okay if you do see that? You can actually request the removals. And when they do that, they're not only going to remove that specific image, but they're going to search across their whole index to remove images like it or the same. So you're good, Morty. And then Thank finally, God. I'm not going to have no commentary on that because we're kind of going long. JavaScript. Um, the folks at Versal and Merge put together a really nice deep dive at how Google Search handles indexing JavaScript. It went through four myths, basically debunking all of them around Google can't render clients on JavaScript. They can. Google treats JavaScript pages differently. They do not. Rendering queue and timing significantly impacts SEO. Really, they do not. And JavaScript heavy sites have a slower page discovery. That is not true. They're fine. So JavaScript, Google handles JavaScript really well. Uh, Martin Split and Gary fr uh, Ish from Google uh, basically, we're happy to see that. I think John Mueller also. Uh, but that was, was like a first like third-party study around how Google handles JavaScript. Woo, okay. I assume you have no comments on that. So let's talk about pills. Okay, and just for the record, quickly here, uh, Morty's shirt says that he has a superpower, and that's SEO. SEO is my superpower. After hearing everything Barry said, I think it should have been invisibility after what I was trying to do to you. I okay, you were going to say nudity. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Um, all right, and Brody Clark over on SERP Alerts had an example of a new format for site links that were being shown multiple times. You can go check it out over on X um, or over on Search Engine Roundtable. And there's some exa examples of some uh, running shoes and some manufacturers, one being one of those hidden gems, New Balance, that we talked about yesterday. But Nike has their site links instead of being underneath the normal SERP. It is a pill-like format that is um, underneath, and, and there's four of them, uh, including women's running shoes, running, trail running shoes, and road. Um, I like the look of this. I'm not sure what everybody else is going to think about it, um, but it does make it look a lot cleaner and then gives more real estate for everybody else. So this, this is a nice look for me. I don't know what your all thoughts are. It's a hard pill to swallow. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just, I, I haven't, seen, I think Google, the one thing they test, probably number two thing they test outside of like ad placements and stuff like that are site links. It's insane how much they test site links over the years. It's, I don't get it. I'm not really sure why, uh, but they, they do this a lot. And I kind of like the pill. It looks nice. Um, what about videos, Morty? What about videos? I'll tell you. Uh, uh, Brody Clark much, found something <laughs> that is not new. It's not new. It's it's a brand's social media postings across you know Instagram and TikTok and other social media platforms. Their videos showing up in the knowledge panel. But some schmuck on what day was this? Where is it? Ah, June thirteenth wrote first time I've seen a knowledge panel section for videos from where Google is specifically pulling in your social media videos from across multiple platforms. Could it be new? Rusty brick? Not even a like nothing completely ignored it so it's new ish barry it's new ish i'm sorry i'm very insulted like i what said it's not a great superpower you know he doesn't even recognize it <laughs> i I, it's I, I literally wrong. picked that story only so i can not new you on the show that's great i didn't realize that awesome so it happens a lot where I'll miss something that somebody shares and then I'll cover it like a day later. Actually, this was actually, I wrote the story a while ago. Um, and if you look at the actual post from um, SERP alerts, um, it was actually back on the 25th of July. Um, so oh. I'm not sure when you shared that. June 13th. Oh, wow. So yeah, you really got me bad. So I, I will you. go ahead and update you. the story and give you credit where credit's due. And I'll make yes, sure my through. life is complete. This I way, when you do, people do make these deep fakes of you. You have your name in an article that could potentially rank for those deep fakes. Thank God. Thank you. <laughs> and one actual marketing note on this. I, I love the fact that you can push down those people also search for those things where they show all your competitors. Um, yeah. That we use posts, we use anything we can to push that stuff down, and this is like an actually nice thing where you can get more content from a brand and less of the also search for. 
Awesome. All right. With that, thanks so much, everybody, for listening. We are not back tomorrow, but we'll hopefully be back on Monday. Have a great, safe weekend. And do not, I repeat, don't even try making those deep fakes in the morning. We don't want to see it. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>